So we've got a little bit of NVIDIA GeForce Now news to go over. Something that uh, I think is really great is they're introducing DLSS 2.0 for some of their GeForce Now games and adding another 21 titles. So if you don't know, DLSS 2.0 was released a few weeks ago. This is in Control, MechWarrior 5, Deliver Us the Moon, um, and that might be the only three right now um, on PC. And then... Um, on GeForce Now, apparently it is Control, and they'll be adding the other ones is what it looks like. So earlier this month, GeForce Now lost a bunch of games from Warner Brothers, Xbox Game Studios, Codemasters, and Clay Entertainment. But it gained 36 Ubisoft titles, and those were all the Far Cry and Assassin's Creed titles. Now this week, the service has gained another 21 titles alongside DLSS 2.0 support. This technology utilizes AI and RTX GPUs to enable the next generation of performance and visuals. It's NVIDIA's improved deep learning ne uh, neural network that boosts frame rates while generating beautiful sharp images for games. DLSS 2.0 is so much better than the original DLSS. It's done a ton to make control look a lot sharper, cleaner, um, and for me, just all around way more playable, especially with now being able to use some more of the RTX features, get a little bit more playable frame rate, and the game doesn't look near as smudgy and blurry as it originally did. Uh, DLSS 2.0 actually really is functioning the way NVIDIA would like for DLSS to be functioning. MechWarrior 5, huge boost to performance same thing with deliver us the moon super sharp image clear you wouldn't even realize it um, with much more performance being able to run ray tracing now and stay above that 60 frames per second using dlss 2.0 so i've tested all of those games and actually we'll take a very very quick look brief look at MechWarrior 5 today uh, in this video just to show you a quick setting uh, DLSS 2.0 is a little different than the original so far in all three games it more like has an off a low a medium a high or like um, a balanced a performance and a quality and I just want to show you that real quick when we get done here so DLSS 2.0 is supported first by Control and MechWarrior 5 and delivers the moon will gain support um, okay, so DLSS is supported first by Control, yes, and then MechWarrior 5 and Deliver Us the Moon will gain support in the future. So they do have support on PC already for all three, but for GeForce Now, DLSS 2.0 is only for Control. Um, and I can tell you, if you've been playing Control on GeForce Now, and uh, I believe it's today they launched this feature for that game on GeForce Now. Go back and play it again. You're going to notice a clarity difference with that now having the 2.0 option. So here is the complete list of the 21 games added this week on top of the 36 Ubisoft titles that were already added when they lost all of those other games. Um, it's always a trade right now in GeForce Now. Who wants to support it and who doesn't? Uh, we've got Moving Out, Snow Runner from Epic Game Store, which is a new game. Uh, Amnesia, The Dark Descent, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood from Uplay, Battle Chasers Night War, Dead Island Definitive Edition, Drug Dealer Simulator, Earth 2160, Fire Pro Wrestling World, Medieval Engineers, Might and Magic Heroes 7, a Trial by Fire, whom you play, Stalker, Clear Sky, Stalker, Shadow of Chernobyl, Saints Row 2, Sanctum 2, Spell Force, Platinum Edition, Steel Division, The Council, The King of Fighters, Trains, A New Era, and Wildlands. These are the 21 new games added to GeForce Now along with DLSS 2.0 for Control. So I'm actually pretty excited to see that. This is, um, unfortunately, GeForce Now has lost a lot of important games, but they are also gaining games. They have huge support from Epic and Ubisoft. You can bet the next Assassin's Creed Valhalla is going to be playable in GeForce Now, most likely at launch. So far, CD Projekt Red is still saying uh, Cyberpunk 2077 with ray tracing will be available at launch through GeForce Now uh, when you buy that game. So even the next-gen consoles... Uh, the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 are not going to have 
ray tracing support for that game on launch day. They are going to get it down the road, especially Xbox for free. PlayStation is unknown if you'll have to pay for that upgrade or not right now. Um, so the next gen consoles that are capable of ray tracing will get ray tracing for Cyberpunk 2077, but it'll be down the road probably next year. It's not going to be when the consoles launch uh, holiday this year. So Playing a game like that on your PC or through NVIDIA GeForce Now um, is going to be the way to experience that with ray tracing and most likely DLSS 2.0. So a pretty great feature. And when people are shopping for RTX graphics cards, it's often something I think that's overlooked. Everybody talks about the ray tracing part, which is great, but kind of like how HDR goes with 4K really well, DLSS 2.0 goes with um, ray tracing really well. And DLSS 2.0 is another great reason to be in the market for an RTX card, in my opinion, if you're big into PC gaming, it really makes a difference. And now to show just a tiny piece of that, we're going to jump over and take a quick look at the DLSS 2.0 setting in MechWarrior 5, uh, just kind of sitting still in one spot most likely, but it'll give you a general idea of what the setting looks like and what the performance change is in real time through MSI Afterburner when we change those settings. And uh, the game is still going to look uh, really good, nothing like the original DLSS. So let's go take a look at that real quick before we wrap up the video. All right, so here we are on the title screen of MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. Now, we're not going to be jumping into gameplay and doing any kind of stuff like that right now. This is not a benchmark. This is just to show you, like we were just talking about in the article, um, about DLSS 2.0 and why it's important for GeForce Now and why it's a great feature for RTX cards. So right now, we're sitting at the title screen. Ray tracing is on, and our DLSS 2.0 is turned off. So let me go in here and show you. First our display, we are at full screen, 1440p, no VSync, no smooth frame rate, DLSS is off. And we'll go over to graphics, you can see everything's basically maxed out. And our RTX, our ray tracing is on, and it's just on the on setting right now. With this uh, card, that's, that's a good place to be. There's high and maximum, but for this, just to show you uh, more about what the DLSS 2.0 is all about, uh, we'll leave it alone there. So. We are sitting here at our 35, 36 steady frame rate on the title screen. Let's go ahead and click our performance on our DLSS quality. Now what I do like about this game and with Deliver Us the Moon, uh, just tweaking these settings, you don't have to restart the game, uh, but with ray tracing on and off, you do. There are some settings that you do and there are some you don't. Luckily, this one we don't. So you'll see an instant jump now from that 35, 36, all the way up to about 84 here on the title screen. That's almost 50 FPS gained without the blurry image that you were seeing in the original DLSS. I remember playing on Battlefield 5 before that system even got better, and it was horribly blurry image quality with DLSS on. Same thing with Control. That game would become almost unplayable if you were trying to use ray tracing and DLSS and get your performance up. You couldn't read things far away. Now with this, I've tried Control, Mech Warrior, and Deliver Us the Moon, and DLSS 2.0 is doing a fantastic job of keeping a sharp image quality while really boosting your FPS. Um, this actually gets me really more excited about the RTX cards. Um, having DLSS 2.0 with ray tracing, can't wait to see it come to more games, and I know eventually it'll probably be in most games. These are going to become mainstream features eventually. Ray tracing, DLSS, these type of things are the next generation of technology uh, where we're headed to get our performance. So let's jump back in here, and we're going to change over to balanced real quick. You'll see a small drop. It should be an increase in image quality, which we're probably not really going to notice here without really, really zooming and doing side-by-sides and everything. But we'll put balanced up, which is where I like to play. And we're going to be in the 70s. So we'll drop down about 10, 12 frames less to be on that um, the middle balanced setting. But still a great place, very playable. We are RTX on and we are gaining a lot still over our 36. So we go in here again and we will go over to quality so this in theory is going to give you the highest um, image quality and sharpness the closer closer to your resolution 
while still giving you some boost in your frames per second. So here we are sitting at about 60 FPS, another 12, 14 FPS drop for that setting, um, but you're able to maintain 60. Now, would you maintain 60 out in the game world? No, most likely not. You're probably gonna wanna go with performance or balanced if you're running ray tracing uh, with a build like this, which is an RTX 2060 Gaming Z with a Ryzen 3600. But just to prove the point, of what the technology is doing. I think this was a good example just to show you. So we're gonna go ahead and throw it back down here to our off just to show again. And there you go, back down to our 35 to 36 FPS. So I think this is a good example. This is why I was excited to see that article. It's really great to see Control um, getting that feature in GeForce Now with DLSS 2.0, MechWarrior 5, and Deliver Us the Moon are to come uh, in that service. So expect this technology to be available in GeForce Now for those games soon. And like I said, these are features that eventually are gonna be mainstream. Remember the next consoles coming out are gonna be doing ray tracing. Who knows if they'll have a form of DLSS um, it seems to be a great tech I feel like it's a feature that's often overlooked when people are shopping for RTX cards they're more talking about the ray tracing which is great but DLSS especially now with 2.0 is a real game changer when it comes to image quality and boosting your frames per second to something much much more playable so great it's coming to GeForce now great there's more games coming to the service even though it continues to lose them it is a great service and it's gonna have features like this because it is from Nvidia so thanks a lot for coming to check out this channel Channel. Please subscribe if you haven't. Ring that bell so you know when I drop new videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and feel free to leave your comment below. What do you think about this technology? Thanks a lot and I'll see you guys in the next one.